anybody who presents with the possibility of a testicular cancer, uh, we actually counsel and advise them to bank their sperm. Unless, of course, the, the patient has no desire to father children. But even in those cases, I still recommend that patients actually bank their sperm. The reason is that many of the treatments that we have for testicular cancer, whether it's surgery, chemotherapy, or radiation therapy, can all affect a patient's fertility, either in the short term or the long term. With many of these treatments, the ability uh, or the uh, fertility can return over time. However, it's not guaranteed and you don't know how long it's going to take. For those, for those reasons, because there are a lot of unknowns, I usually tell my patients to try to bank their sperm. Now what that involves is going to a facility um, called a sperm bank or an assisted reproduction center and uh, donating your sperm or, or getting a sample of the sperm. It then gets frozen down uh, and preserved by that bank. You basically pay a certain fee uh, on an annual basis to preserve that sperm there until uh, there's a time uh, when you need it. So, but in general, we, we counsel many of our testicular cancer patients to, to perform sperm banking for these reasons. Thank you.